What's up guys, it's Nick. I mentioned in my last video that I was gonna uh, briefly talk about this MyQ garage door opener from Chamberlain. So here I am discussing it. Um, this allows you to control your garage door or doors um, via uh, your iPhone, iPad, smartphone, or any tablet. Um, and it's pretty, worked perfectly for me. Uh, most of the reviews are pretty good online. I think Chamberlain sells this for 150 bucks, but you can go to Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. I got it for 94 bucks. Um, if you just get the package I got, it comes with one of these sensors already inside that allows you to do one garage door. Um, but we have two garage doors. I want to be able to control them both, so I purchased another one of these. I forget how much this is. It wasn't that bad. I will uh, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. I'll throw the link in the description on that extra one here. Let's see. That was an extra 33 bucks. So together, we're talking about 120, 130 bucks for uh, both garage doors. And it works pretty great. I already installed it all, so I'm just gonna quickly show you um, kind of uh, what it's like and how it was installed, because I'm not technical at all. I'm not handy at all, So, um, but it was pretty simple and pretty painless. So uh, as far as these, there's nothing really to show with the unboxing. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Installation is easy, kind of shows you everything there. Works through your Wi-Fi. Universal smartphone garage door controller uh, from anywhere. So all that good stuff. So I'm gonna meet you in the garage and we'll take it from there. All right guys, so I'm back in the garage. As you can see, that's where I installed it. So you have to have a power outlet. Um, it says to put it at least two feet away from your main garage door uh, opener. So most of um, the garage doors I've seen have that power outlet right there, which is perfect. You can just hook up right into that. Just did it a couple feet away. Literally just took, uh, I think it came with the nails or the screws and the molly brackets, whatever you want to call them, to drill up in the ceiling. It was real easy. Didn't take anything. I didn't look for any studs or anything like that because it's pretty light, the unit itself. Um, so I hooked that up. Got that all going, and then the other sense, the sensors it comes with that you have to put um, also, you have to install also are these, and those are just literally the double stick tape. You install one, you just put it, there's nothing to it, just stick it right on the one garage door and one in the other, and they say to put it right at the top, and that's what I did. Um, still not sure technically why you have to put them on the garage door or how it knows. I'm not sure if that's something that works with Chamberlain. Now I have, it's another thing to mention, I have a lift master which is made by Chamberlain. So from what I read, this works with most garage doors, but mine, it definitely worked perfectly and, and seamlessly just because I'm assuming both are Chamberlain, the MyQ garage made by Chamberlain, lift master of Chamberlain. So I kind of lucked out in that sense. So it worked really easy for me. So once I put this thing on, I uh, connected my, I had to download the app. It found it real, um, Quickly, you have to push some button up there, found it real easily, uh, connected to the app, no problem. When it was ready to learn, you literally just went up there and pushed the learn button um, up on each of them, and I did it one at a time, and it found it, and boom, it was, uh, it was working. So I will, um, let me get my wife's iPhone and I will show you what it's like, um, the, what the app is like, but uh, so far it's worked great. I'll be right back. All right guys, so here is my wife's iPhone. Uh, we have a little folder called Home Control. I try and get as many things as I can um, to be able to be controlled by uh, uh, your phone or my phone. So um, you can see right there, MyQ by Chamberlain. Click on that thing. And it's right there. So we have two of them. And so as it installed, you can name anything you want. I have the garage door um, for my wife and then I have the garage door under my name and um, works great. So you can just swipe right back and forth. When you wanna do it, you literally just hit the button right here. Let's see what happens. And as we did that one, Shows you how long it's closed for, so it's been closed for three hours. So there you go, open for four seconds, 
and this one's open for 19 seconds and literally just push this Gives you a little warning, thing lights up, telling you that it's closing, and it's shut. Pretty painless, pretty easy. Some other, um, Let's see what else we can do. Places, manage places so you can manage where it is, your account, rules. I see nothing else there to really manage. Anything else here? Um, kind of gives you some, send your alerts and notifications. It's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, that's about it. So anyway, this thing works great, guys. It's pretty easy. Again, I didn't go through a lot of the technicalities of how to install it, but literally just went up there drill put it up there it took five minutes to connect it uh, staple gun the wires so it wasn't just hanging down it comes with a nice pretty long uh, cable the power cable uh, to be able to connect it um, it found it I had to push a button up there it found it through the app immediately and connected to it um, then I just had to connect it to my Wi-Fi through the app you do everything through your app you put these little two um, sensors with double-sided tape or your one sensor if you had one garage door and two if you had two and uh, push alarm button on the garage door unit itself and it found it and it was good to go so I just think this is a good idea I was gonna buy those little keypads you put outside and um, you know you just type in a code to be able to open it but I figure sometimes we want to let like the exterminator in or whoever and instead of um, giving him the code that I'll have forever um, and be able to access our garage anytime. I figured I can just do this and have him call me or text me and I'll let him in and out of the you know garage whenever uh, he needs to get in and out of the house. So I just thought this was an easier way and for 120 bucks, it didn't really break the bank. I think it's a great little product. I highly recommend it. Let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate it guys. Have a good one. See ya.